I think user testing is extremely important. I think that a lot of the times when even when you've, it's called play testing in um, the industry and actually in video game industry, I think that's where it comes from is play testing. Ultimately, before you make any more costly mistakes, you, you can test it right to make sure that the intent of your experience and your project is felt by the visitor or and understood, felt and understood by the visitor. If you, even if you know, I, I joke that one other a summit or presentation that even a deck, a presentation is a play test. It doesn't have to be expensive. Expensive. But if you can go through your present or deck and pitch someone the idea of your place and they're excited by it, that's already user testing. You're already getting feedback and input and insights and impressions of your project. But I think that there is nothing better than being able to walk someone through an experience. As a builder of physical places, you want to make sure that you can involve all of the senses for people to go through your mock-up experience, right? We did this all the time at Walt Disney Imagining. When for every single little thing and experience that we were going to build, we made sure we had places and we would invite trusted members from other projects, other Imagineers, or we would invite family and friends. And eventually we couldn't get enough input from and feedback from all of those people to create a better product. So it's extremely important. Definitely make time for it. It doesn't matter, you know, exactly when in the process of the project life cycle that you do it, but I would say to do it early and often enough to get input, but ultimately you still have fun and create your things. Make sure that that it's something that is going to be valuable for you, team.